Well, let's do another video. This one is for Algebra Pace 1104. It is the eighth in the series. They're getting near the end of the course, two thirds of the way through. And uh, this first video I'm gonna do, um, this is kind of an introduction to pages one through seven. Hopefully it's a review of some concepts that um, you've had in pre-algebra, but just in case you're jumping into the paces at Algebra 1, um, I'll just talk about a couple of things that students sometimes either forget or didn't know about exponents. So basically, an exponent means that we're taking a number, we call that the base, raised to an exponent means we use that that number of times as a factor or times itself okay so two times itself three times so the answer is not six it would be eight okay we can do that with letters and we can do it with numbers okay so we're going to take the exponent two and apply it to all of these things in the top here. So this two, it's almost like distributive property, all right? It's being distributed to each of these things. So it is being distributed to the negative five, which makes it positive 25. There's no exponent on the A, notice that, okay? But we can assume that it's an exponent of one. So we're multiplying two times one, so we would get A to the second power, B to the two times two to the fourth power, and that's going over 10, and then we keep the A squared B, all right? Now what this literally means is, and you don't have to do this when you're solving it in long form like this, but I just want you to see it so you understand. Five times five times A times A times B times B times B times B, okay? All over two times five times A times A times B, okay? So that's what the A squared is AA. We have the B, A squared up here is A times A, and then we have four Bs. Now, this is, you can kind of do this in your head, okay? Or there's a shortcut that I'll show you in a minute. But you remember this from pre-algebra is we can cancel a term if it's on the top and the bottom because it's like dividing by five, so you get one and one. The A cancels the A and we get one over one. This A cancels this A, this B cancels this B, okay? So we can look at it this way and say, oh, an a squared on the top cancels a squared. We could also think of it as subtracting the exponents. So this one, 4 minus the 1, would give me b to the third on the top. Now here I'm simplifying just like we've been doing since elementary school with fractions. And I can uh, simplify that, dividing them both by 5. And so I get 5 on the top, and I keep the 2 on the bottom. All right, a squared cancels a squared. And so the answer literally is five b to the one, two, three power all over two. And that's what I get here, all right? I should have put those closer together. But anyways, you get the idea. <clears throat> so anyways, in this short lesson, we reviewed several things about that hopefully just kind of reminded you and it's not brand new to you. Um, if this is all brand new, you might want to go back and watch some of the videos that we have for the uh, 85 through 96 series of, of math paces. And I think I go into a little more detail on some of these exponent concepts. All right, but I'm gonna assume you can get up through the first checkup and then uh, we'll dive in with some lessons that come after the first checkup.